Hi, Larry Stewart here with FordConstructionPros.com here at World of Concrete 2016 with Dave Rinas, who's uh, Director of Sales and Marketing for Advanced Terex, Advanced Mixer, Mixer Trucks. Dave, thanks a lot for uh, spending some time with us. Uh, we mm, appreciate it. Tell us about it. what's new on uh, the Advanced Mixer Trucks. Well, we're excited about the show this year because uh, we brought out, we're able to bring out two trucks this year. Uh, the market is growing and we're displaying some new options uh, so a customer can look at one truck and kind of see the opposite in the other truck. But uh, we offer two engines, uh, multiple horsepower, but one's a MTU Detroit diesel engine, the other is a Cummins engine. Uh, each truck has a, a different setup. Uh, we're introducing a lot more technology. Uh, Tell me a little bit more about the about those engine choices. Uh, are those 13 liters, I assume? Or? There's a 13 liter. Uh, again, it's a greenhouse gas. One of them is 2013 GHG EPA emissions. Okay. Uh, and that's Cummins. We are coming out with a 2017 mm -hmm. GHG emissions, and that's what's reflected in the Detroit diesel MTU engine. Uh, we're introducing that now. Cummins is a little bit later. We're probably going to do later this year on the 2017. Okay. But again, it's the new technology. It's primarily emissions, mm -hmm. uh, both particulate and NOx emissions mm -hmm. out of the engines, and a lot of road testing and cooling testing that needs to be done with these engines. But these but, are, it's a selective catalytic reduction system. Absolutely. Assume, yeah. Now, you also said that there's some, some technology advances there's on these There's some trucks. technology. We're looking at, uh, in fact, one of our themes, if you can see on, on the trucks as you go around, is zero harm. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of our customers are in a very hazardous business in the construction business yeah. and uh, so we're building some technology into the trucks they're really add-ons that we're getting customers ask us about and some of its 360 degree uh, visibility with cameras and recording systems and uh, in the uh, that are triggered by events so if there's a, mm. an accident or an event there's a recording that either is put on a DVR or sent back to a monitor at the, okay. at the corporate office. So we're building some technologies that are options into the trucks, but it's they're their safety oriented. One of the key things we're excited about is, uh, is since the maneuverability of a front discharge is so important, we're looking, and the safety aspect is uh, disc brakes. Historically, we've just been drum brakes, and for the last 30 years, the same old axles, the same old brakes. But we're seeing customers again in the market demand quicker stopping, mm. uh, you know, more safety, so we are introducing disc brakes on our, uh, it's a front drive axle and our tandem axle, and it's on, it's on both of our trucks this year. Oh, wow, okay. Um, what does that mean in terms of stopping distance uh, difference uh, from what Depends you know? on the axle, and there's still some testing to be done, Okay. but in the range of 10 to 20 percent faster stopping. Oh, wow. So it's, it is significant. We have some road testing to do, as I say, but we're... Uh, a lot of the haul trucks, the aggregate trucks that our customers use have had disc brakes for years mm. and a lot of interest going forward in putting it on mixer trucks. Sure, sure. What, a lot of mass going down the, you know, down the highway at 60 miles an hour with 10 loads, with 10 yards of concrete. Uh, the quicker you can stop that load, uh, you know, the better. We've done some things with our cab design on heated seats and, and air conditioning options. Um, Better visibility out of, out of the front windows is a, essentially a brand new cab design that we're introducing this year as well. We have some uh, uh, new designs within the drum, the way we're mixing, so we can mix better, mix more consistently, uh, load the truck easier, and unload the truck easier with all mixed designs. And mm -hmm. the demands of the uh, concrete industry are now... Are, uh, you almost need to be a scientist to figure out the concrete mixes now, but yeah. they're, they're, they can either be very soupy uh, for whatever that application is or very stiff. And our drums are designed for both applications from a, a very high, what they call a, a slump, right. very high slump to a low slump concrete. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, with the low slump concrete, it's hard to clean a drum out. Mm -hmm. So we're adding some features that make washout better mm -hmm. and easier and also prevents uh, 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 concrete from forming and setting up within the drum. Okay. So it's a clean, self-cleaning mechanism. I see. And so what what changes in the drum? I mean, is it is, is it just geometry? I mean, is it just it's geometry? It's it's the fin design. We actually have some holes in the fin, and we also have a uh, kind of a buster in the head of the club that would bust up cement clumps in the in the rear of the drum. Talk a little bit about that drum drive. I mean. I, I got to think that a lot of guys who've been running mixer trucks for a long time say you're going to give me a smaller drum drive. How are you going to convince them that that's a durable drum drive? It's smaller in weight, and again, it's a drum drive that's been used throughout Europe in rear discharge mixers. In North America, it's, uh, it's just being introduced. Uh, we tried it a couple years ago. We weren't satisfied from a... Uh, 
technical perspective, they, they had all the answers. They went back, uh, did some re some tweaking of the design, uh, beefed it up a little bit, and now we're trying it again because it is a it's a it seems to be it's smaller and lighter, but it also appears to be uh, you know improved from a maintenance perspective. Okay. It's an integral uh, drive and motor and pump versus two separate pieces of equipment. Oh, okay, all right. So you're, you've eliminated one set of rotating right. groups right. Uh, so that you, you get a lot of weight savings right. there.